can't really take the cover off it anymore, can I? So you've missed out on quite a lot, really, but none of it's interesting at all. It's all been horrific, which is why I didn't film any of it. I just spent a week cleaning the underside of the car and then seam welding, but I only, I only cleaned around the seams and then seam welded it up. It was like 35 degrees in here. No jumper to put on because that would have made me about 50 degrees. So I just had constant welding burns like this. See that? A bit like Renton from Train Spotting. The worst part is over, I think. So the next job is to put some harness mounts on and then check that they're all good. So I'll put the seat in and stuff afterwards. But I'll show you what I've done. What do you think of this then? Dude, I just copied the Group A cars. Apart from they only have, they only have like tiny little chaps. So I did, I don't know, I just wanted to do that. So it's like that. These are the subframe mounts, front and back of the rear subframe mounts. You can see where it's gone all the way through. Looks a bit wild now, doesn't it? So on to the next job. So the regulations are fairly simple for the harness mounts. Basically, if it's not an existing one, you have to put a plate that's 40 centimeters squared behind where you want your bolt to go through. And that's got to have a 7 16th or M, M12 behind it. But Noah does M12 eyelets, so I don't know why they've done that. Maybe if you're just bolting straight through with a bolt rather than an eyelet. I've already drilled holes where all of them are going to go. I've just got to make the plates for them out of 3mm thick mild and then weld some nuts on. Weirdly, you can't get 7 16th weld nuts, but you can get these. They call them something, I hate this, when you go into somewhere and you kind of know what you're doing and then they use a term that you haven't heard of. And I used to, I used to, I got through most of my life by just bullshitting through that, but now I just realise it's a lot easier to say, I don't know what you're talking about. What do they call this? Colour at home? Colour by numbers? Self colour? Something like that. It's just like an untreated, I asked for weld nuts and they say oh, I ain't got weld nuts. But we've got paint by numbers, which hasn't got anything on, so you can weld it. Pretty close to a weld nut, isn't it? So we've got 10 of these boys, and then we've got a load of 3mm plate, which is alright, isn't it? They sent this Royal Mail <laughs> and wrote Fragile on it. I found it quite amusing. I've only got like two or three more metalwork bits to do, so try and stay with me. I know it's pretty boring, but it's even, I just had to do all of that. So it's a compromise, isn't it? Just, do you know where you are? So this is the back of the rear bench, and these are the easiest ones because we just got like two there and there. I just copied the Calsonic car. It's legal, but it's kind of like one of those ones. So I'm going to start with these. There's just going to be like four flat plates, so it's easy to do. Make me feel good about the situation, and then there's some really nasty ones to do up there. When they say minimum square area, I don't like to, to go absolute minimum on it because, I don't know, you just look a bit bad, don't you? So I try and make something that kind of looks sensible. So where are we at with that? 8 by 8 64. We'll do that. I know it's like 20 grams difference, but I think we'll live. New cutting disc. What a treat. Anyone see my other glove? I forgot to press record on the first two cuts, but it's just the same as that. But again. Kick a seatbelt reinforcement plate, any seatbelt reinforcement plate. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do this, but it's always worked for me, alright. and then see if the same hole location could be used for all of them and then I'll just do all of them. If you haven't done the harnesses before, you usually put them through eyelet jobbies like that. Come 
can't remember how many stepper drills I broke in the last video. Was it just one? Is this one alright? Full moon, total eclipse. As I thought though, it's good isn't it? Fits on all of them, apart from the bottom one. Tickle on those welds, and, or tickle on that. <laughs> tickle that. So I'm just gonna pop all those out. It's a much quicker way of doing it if they're all in the same place anyway. Clean these up where the nuts are going to go. I need to weld these on here. And I know these are supposed to be ripen at home nuts, but I gave them a quick clean with the wire brush anyway, just because I don't really trust anyone in this world. I optimistically bought 10 nuts needing 10. So we need to do this right. welding it's fun I'm not very good at it but it's fun maybe the extra size on these maybe we got the uh, weight back huh so we need to let these cool for a bit and then put some well through primer on this and the other side Right, wait for that paint to dry. I'm going to look at these ones. So these are the inner belt straps. This is like the standard location. The Group A cars would have just bolted straight onto that. And I think within the regs, you can actually bolt straight onto that. It was, it had a captive nut on it, look. And then it had a stud that went through that I couldn't get out because I think I was winding it the wrong way. This is only one mil and this is like 0.8. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the right size and then cut this section out. It's just got three little spot welds in. So I'll cut that section out and then replace that with a three mil plate. I think just sandwiching old metal like this is just asking for a, a rusty nightmare in the future. I know it all looks a bit rubbish. I didn't want to clean everything off and then it just rusts before I put any primer on. So we're saving the last bit of fun. 80 by 60, that'll do, innit? 80 by 60, 48, 48, innit? 48, I think it's 48. I think the best thing to do is just use that as a template, make it out of three mil, weld a knot on the back, it. Do you want to see the hole being drilled? Do you have to watch everything? It's all right, it. That'd be good, I reckon. I think I'll just assume it'll be all right. I might clean it and weld a nut on it, prime it, and then go home. Quite James Bond, isn't it? Day two. That's dry. That'll do a thing. Done the other side. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do the crotch strap. It's useful it being on this jig, I've just been able to... Oh. 
this is where we're at with it. The reason it's gonna go five point harness instead of six point is because this is where the chassis rail goes. If I have one exactly in the center of where the seat is, it's, it, I can just about get a plane. It's been a bit annoying because it was on kind of this contour. I can show you around the other side. You can't really get it to sit flat. So I've kind of encouraged that with a little metal working hammer. So it's gonna be something like that. So I'm gonna clean this up now. I might use a bit of cardboard to figure out what it's gonna look like. It's like episode one all over again, isn't it? At least this is, it's like modifications, isn't it? Rather than just filling holes up. Get through it like that. And then I've just got, I've got these two and then I've only got two left. If you just keep halving things all the time, then it, it seems less stressful, doesn't it? I made this, as you, as you can tell, my MCB wasn't up to running that welder, so it's, it's really badly made. A million hours just to do the one. Oh, okay. It's fitting all right. I'm only filming one side because you know what the other side, it's just the same as the other side. So the video will be twice as long and it's absolutely miserable as it is. So I'll spare you guys, video the one side, which means really when you think about it, you've only got one left to do, right? This is worth it for a crotch strap, you know. I think the originals just had four points, but you can't beat a crotch strap. Just something about countersink tools, isn't there? Hello everyone. We're back here again, but in a less flattering position. Uh, the other one actually went together a lot easier than the first one, so not in as bad a mood. Pretty bad mood. Because I got down here at a relatively decent, well, no, I didn't actually. Maybe that's why I'm so late. Get these stuck on, and then I need to have a think about if I start the other two tonight. At least it gives you a good perspective of how many days a week you have to come down and work on your car if you want to build one. It's, it's every, every day if you want to build a car. Did you see earlier on in the video where uh, I was TIG welding with this acetone light here? <laughs> I just need to let them cool down because they're a million degrees, put paint on that and those bits, and then I've only got two left. This 12 gas lens would have been able to do that, no problem at all, but that one's gold. Hang on there, this one fits. I'm sure this one fits, it fitted last time I tried. Yeah. Last ones. I haven't got six points in there. Finally. Day three today. I, th I thought this had two days written all over it, but I was wrong. All of these are made up. You can't buy these, you know? Can't buy that. Well, I suppose you could pay someone to do it, but can't buy these ones. It's just the fun bit left, and then I'm gonna chuck the seat in and uh, put the harnesses in and just look at it for a bit. Oh. 
bit nippy in here today, so I'll chuck a really thick jacket on. I'm going to do all of the plates that I can whilst it's on this side. I think I'll try and get all of them on and then just weld the sides that make sense to weld. And then we'll flip it over, finish it off. That was alright. Can't quite believe it. Managed to get around the whole car without running out of welding gas. It's okay. It's difficult welding on absolute shit sometimes. There's no benefit to put doing this and putting this seat in, but it's bits like this that kind of give you the motivation to carry on going. It looks really good. So if you're unaware, Recaro are the best seats. There's no real conversation to be had there. And if you go to the Nürburgring, Scroth harnesses and a Recaro are worth probably about 30 seconds British gantry. It's actually an original new old stock Recaro SPA, which would have been in the Group A cars. It weighs about half a gram, but it is lovely. So that's it for this one. I think it's quite successful. And I enjoy the finished seeing the seat in there. We've got um, two more little metalwork jobs to do. Hands up if you know what they are. Right. Thanks for watching. Share it around if you think anyone might want to watch this stuff. It's good to uh, share the build with people and uh, I'll see you next time.